So like just, man, they was in there honestly. Man, they was in there like kids in school, bro. Chosen, <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, bro, that's crazy. That y'all, y'all, y'all excited, you know what I'm saying? But wow. I guess it's an exciting time when you get to see people from the world get to come visit you, you know what I'm saying? How and did you cool. see them? I mean, I, I set up a visitation. Me and C. Murder daughters, we had a real great relationship. Um, I still, it's still all love, and uh, you know, everybody just grew up. Yeah. But like, when we was younger, when we was trying to figure out what we was having going on. We was real close. I used to be with them almost every day. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanted to ask about the um, the fact of going when you went to see your dad in jail. Later on, you started to go see Mac and you ate, and and see murder, right? I went to see see murder and I got to see Mac too. Uh, okay, that's how they went because me and him talked about that. Me and Mac that he was locked up in the same place where see murder was at. Mm -hmm. You and see yeah. In fact, I did uh, the last couple of years. I did at Elaine Hunt. C was there with me. Cool. Well, how how is he doing? And you know, oh, he's, he's doing good. You know, see a fighter. Yeah. He, he he's never gonna give up his pursuit of freedom, and he shouldn't. You know, yeah. Because he was done wrong, and and you know, they know he was done wrong. Just like in my situation, I think in in situations like ours, it don't it don't even be about the money for them. It's like what they can, um, the, the the point they can prove is far more important than to them than what money you can spend with them as far as on lawyers and, and stuff like that. They use us, I think, to <coughs> foster, uh, to to spread this "I'm tough on crime" message. Mm -hmm. Here goes one of your heroes, and I'm gonna show you that if he if if he get in trouble. I'm going to do him so seriously to make sure that none of y'all can think that. It's sort of right. like they use us as deterrence. Yeah. So do exactly. you? So you said spirits is good. So that's a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just the conversations. He's been gone now for years, man. Yeah. How long has he been gone? Like 20. 20. Got, like I was in there 20. Yeah, about 20. 21, so he yeah, did, 20. I did 21. He's about right at 20 now. Wow. And you so, like, just, man, he was in there honestly. Man, they was in there like kids in school, bro. Chosen, <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, bro, that's crazy. That y'all, y'all excited, you know what I'm saying? But wow. I guess it's an exciting time when you get to see people from the world get to come visit you. You know what I'm saying? How and did you cool. see them? I mean, I, I set up a visitation. Me and C Murder daughters, we had a real great relationship. Um, I still, it's still all love, and uh, you know, everybody just grew up. Yeah. But like, when we was younger. When we was trying to figure out what was having going on. We was real close. I used to be with them almost every day. You know what I'm saying? Even if I wasn't with them, I used to talk with them every day. But, so, yeah, her, his daughter ended up setting up the visitation for me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he really wanted to see me, so he called for me. You know what I'm saying? His daughter set up the visitation. He used to call me a lot. That's how I got a couple skits over the phones and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He helped me, like, structure my first project. Um, we had a song that we had already did when he was on house arrest. So, you know, it was like, it, it was cool. It was cool to just have to know the relationship and to just be able to, you know what I'm saying, be a part of that. How how was it though, like like conversating with, with, with how is it, do you still talk with him? I ain't talked to him in a minute. Um, I was supposed to go, he had sent for me a, another visitation probably like uh, two, three months after that visitation. But by that time I had caught a case so I couldn't even do the visitation no more. And we just lost connect bro, like I said, I started getting into a lot of more other stuff. You know, you know, I'd be like, I kept changing my phone numbers. Do you think you'll ever go back and see him? Yeah, once I get all my legal stuff cleared up, I'm just not eligible right now. Yeah, but at some point you want to yeah. go back and reconnect with yeah. him. Because like that's, still, that's a tough um, break, man. I still man. got him on my JP. I just rolled him not too long ago on JP. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you like, you reach out to him every yeah, night. Like, it, it was cool. Like, I was able to sit down with him. I bought him lunch. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Kicked it like, yeah, you know. How did you see Mac, though, during that time? Was he just coming out just to visit somebody himself when you went there? His, his wife was there at the time. There it is. So all of us was able to sit down and eat together. Dope, dope. Yeah, it was like a cafeteria room. Okay, you know okay. Just saying? like cafeteria, you just, yeah. basically everybody come out. Everybody come out. Do you remember the conversation myself. like when, with Mac and y'all? Or you just like, hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, you know, just talking. Like, we had oh, we had been talking. You know what I'm saying? Mac used to be coming to the phone talking on him. So we had been talking. It okay, was okay. It made you know sense. What I'm just, it was just love, just embracing each other. You know what I'm saying? He was really talking about, you know how they be mad your daddy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Of they course. Looking at him, of course. Going through it. But I, under, like, I ain't never... 
I understood it, but I didn't understand it as much as I do now because I know people who got kids who done lost their life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I be looking at their kids like, damn, bro, I really know your dad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you you get it. I understand it now. So yeah. it's like the more I grow up, the more the older I get, the more I understand. Have you got to, Have you gotten to speak to Max since he been home? Yeah, um, a few times. Okay. Yeah. So that that's a good thing. It's always a good thing when you can reconnect out here honestly, in the free world. I kind of right? I kind of honestly feel like I should do a lot more. I should reach out a lot more. But man, day to day be killing me. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, just trying to grow and learn more. And you know, everybody get caught up in life. So I don't even take it personal that people don't reach out to me because they be love every time we greet each other, we embrace each other. Man, you know Mac, man, Mac a dope dude, man. Kel, man, Kel dope, bro. Like. Facts. Some good dudes, man. Like, God put these people in my life, bro. Yeah. And it's been nothing but blessings upon blessings when you think about the stuff. We just link, bro. This, I'm an older cat, so to link with dudes that's like my age and, and really click like we click, or we come from an old law. We di right. a different set of rules. And it's just, and I ain't I'm, I'm under the it. old law, too, though. Oh, yeah, you under know? <laughs> Yeah, like, what they say, I'm like the last of the millennials. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's new generation. They don't got no morals and no codes that they live by. Yeah, it's different, man. And, I was and, really raised by OGs, not IG. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I like that, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.